Not many people know about this point and click adventure game that's been dead for 20 years. Garage Bad Dream Adventure got a digital revival in 2008 and became popular for its unconventional plot and puzzles. It packs all the charm of artistic and experimental games. But before that, it had a long history of developments. This is the truth behind the underdog of the video game world. Let's rewind to the golden era for story-driven games in the 80s and the 90s. Forget the high-octane action of platformers or shoot-'em-ups. Adventure games used to take the scenic route. We're talking dialogue, gathering clues and deep convos with in-game characters to crack puzzles and extend gameplay. It might not be everyone's thing, but it carved out a unique space for storytelling in the gaming world. Back in the day, Sierra and LucasArts were the big players in the adventure game world. They churned out iconic titles that not only became classics, but even evolved into long-running franchises. So while adventure games might not be everyone's first choice, their impact on gaming history is undeniable. Now these games had their style full of quirky humor and brain-bending puzzles. Here's the catch. They were mostly on PCs back when consoles were ruling the gaming scene. But being PC exclusive had its perks. They got cool features like slick user interfaces, top-notch graphics, killer sound, and best of all, they could tell their stories without worrying about censorship. Console gaming back then, especially with Nintendo, was super strict. After the 1983 video game crash, they cracked down hard on what could go into a game. Take, for instance, the NES version of LucasArts' Maniac Mansion. Nintendo put it through the censorship ringer, chopping out bits and pieces to fit their content guidelines. Okay, let's talk horror in the gaming world. Adventure games turned out to be the perfect playground for the horror genre, all because they dodged the censorship headaches that console games faced back then. Sure, most adventure games were rocking comedic tales, like Dark Seed 1 and 2, I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream, Phantasmagoria 1 and 2, Harvester, Seventh Guest, Sanitarium, and the more recent Telltale Walking Dead series. But surprise, surprise, they all dip their toes into the horror pool. Now the cool part? You can easily get your hands on these spooky adventures today, thanks to platforms like Steam and GoG. But today we're looking at a spooky point and click horror adventure you can get on Steam without breaking the bank. But let's rewind. This game had a wild ride. Lost in the gaming abyss for over a decade, it finally made a digital comeback. Yep, we're talking about Garage Bad Dream Adventure. Now let's talk adventure game history. Fun fact, Japanese horror adventures were mostly a North American and European game development scene. Surprising, right? At that time, Japan was dishing out major hits, but the spotlight was on the West, with LucasArts and Sierra leading the way, thanks to their killer storytelling style. Let's dive into the world of Japanese adventure games, a unique twist in the gaming realm. While Western adventures took the limelight, Japan had its flair, especially in the surreal and horror genres. Imagine titles like Cosmology of Kyoto, Clock Tower Series, or LSD Dream Emulator. Now, what sets these apart? Surrealism. Big names like Snatcher in Police Knots or Legend of Saya went for a dreamy, mind-bending narrative steering clear of the comedic vibes of LucasArts and Sierra. But here's the thing, the platforms. Forget mainstream Windows, Japanese adventures rock Macintosh, PC-98, and console scenes. PC-98 birthed indie gems, turning that era into a wild west for experimental game art. It wasn't just gaming, it was a journey through interactive art exhibitions. But there was one Japanese game developer who dared to be different. Tomomi Sakuba. Sakuba, born in 1959, was a Japanese surrealist artist whose canvas was experimental, often melding machines with humanity in eerie ways. Now imagine H.R. Geiger, the mastermind behind Aliens Designs, and Darkseed Games, Sakuba's kindred spirit in the art world. Sakuba's game changer? The 1990 point-and-click adventure, Cosmic Osmo and the World Beyond the Mackerel it rocked his world. Why? Before this, arcade games and Famicom titles were all he knew. This adventure game with its visual storytelling and distinctive art style hit him like a revelation. 
And thus the spark of Sakaba's game-making journey ignited. Enter the minds behind Cosmic Osmo, Rand, and Robin Miller, the visionaries of Cyan Worlds. You might recognize them from their addictive creations, Mist and Riven. Notorious for hooking players and devouring countless hours in pursuit of victory without a guide. Why does this matter? Because Cosmic Osmo was the gateway drug for someone like Sakuba into the gaming universe. Unlike the genre's norm of mind-bending puzzles, this adventure was all about exploration. You'd be in a diorama world teeming with peculiar creatures and inhabitants. In the world of gaming, Cosmic Osmo even made its way to the CDI, not the most impressive platform, but it hinted at the low bar for CD games back then. Riding the wave of success, Xion Worlds birthed a sequel, Spelunks in the Caves of Mr. Sudo, a year later. Meanwhile, Sakuba had embarked on crafting his point-and-click adventure, more a visual escapade than a typical video game. Then came 1992, Sakuba had wrapped up the script for his inaugural game and was knee-deep in its creation when he received a Macintosh SE as a generous gift. This changed everything for Sakuba, as the Macintosh SE boasted significant power for its era, equipping him with all the tools needed for his adventure game. Armed with Macro Mind Director, a multimedia authoring program tailored for Mac OS, Sakuba dove into programming his surrealist point-and-click adventure, seamlessly weaving horror with comedy, dubbed Garage Bad Dream Adventure. This game isn't confined to a garage setting, despite what the title suggests. The name takes inspiration from a painting Sakuba crafted for the cover art. The cover art shows a chilling scene, a hybrid creature, part man and part machine, in apparent agony, cradling a tattered dress-clad girl. In the backdrop, a long-necked robotic figure, a man in a suit, and another machine man, wielding a sickle for a hand to complete the eerie ensemble. Hovering above them all is a foreboding figure with a painted face casting a watchful gaze on the unfolding scene. Sakuba's art was quite haunting. Don't dismiss this cover as mere decoration. It offered a sneak peek into the game's essence. Despite the word adventure in its title, this game defies the usual adventure game conventions of its time. There's no clear mission for players to pursue. Instead, the game unfolds in a series of randomly arranged rooms, each inhabited by peculiar creatures waiting to interact with the player. Solve the puzzles, and you'll be treated to bizarre cutscenes that either defy logic or deepen the enigma of the storyline. If H.R. Giger had gone into video games, that's the vibe of Garage. Unlike typical adventures with graphical interfaces, it throws you into Sakuba's nightmare through a first-person lens. Think explaining a David Lynch film plot. That's the surreal journey Garage offers, where predictability takes a back seat. It starts with your character waking in a room full of mechanical echoes, memory wiped. Explore to find a door to another mysterious room and a dormant machine. Approach, and you get a key with a stern warning not to disturb its slumber. Now get ready, this adventure isn't ordinary. Imagine a small room with a strange creature part human, part machine, creepy vibes everywhere. Poke it and prod it, but it just makes weird sounds and moves. No clear goals or instructions. Explore freely and engage with oddities, but forget about a roadmap. Garage embraces confusion, saying no to hand-holding and straightforward plots. It's a dive into a world where the bizarre rules, surrealism triumphs, and logic takes a back seat. Get ready for a weird bunch of creepy creatures in Garage. They each have their eerie style. Some add to the creepy vibe, others might be trouble. Your job? Navigate this strange place, solve puzzles, and uncover the mysteries in the game. Now about the looks. Garage shows off Tomomi Sakuba's weird and spooky art style. It's packed with unsettling scenes, odd creatures, and creepy stuff all around. And here's the twist. You're not just watching. You're in the middle of it, thanks to the first-person view. It's like walking into Sakuba's crazy masterpiece. Garage is known for its unique art and the mix of horror and fascination, with a plot that lets players figure things out. In 1992, it kind of disappeared, mostly known to a niche crowd and on Macintosh. 
Fast forward to 2008 and Daisuke Pixel Amaya, the cave story guy, found it and thought it was time to share this hidden gem. Recognizing the artistic brilliance of Garage, Pixel took action to introduce it to a new generation. He crafted a Windows-compatible version, ensuring it could shine on modern systems. Importantly, Pixel released the revamped Garage Bad Dream Adventure as freeware, a generous gift to gamers worldwide. This rescue mission propelled the game to internet stardom, captivating players with its horror, surreal vibes, and point-and-click charm. The unique art style and mysterious storyline resonated with those seeking more abstract and mind-bending gaming experiences. Pixel's revival of Garage sparked newfound popularity, with players intrigued by its unique blend of puzzles and cryptic storytelling. The game's resurgence prompted a broader exploration of Tomomi Sakuba's artistry and Japanese surrealism in gaming, influencing other avant-garde titles. While not a mainstream hit, Garage Bad Dream Adventure symbolizes the enduring appeal of unconventional gaming. Transitioning from a 90s Macintosh niche to a rediscovered gem in the modern gaming scene. And that's how Garage Bad Dream Adventure emerged as a hidden gem in the gaming world, resurrected after two decades of obscurity. If you enjoyed this journey into the world of unique and overlooked games, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more intriguing stories from the gaming universe. Your support means a lot and it helps the channel grow. Until next time, happy gaming.